Well, good morning from the north of Israel. It has been raining here on and off, and you know the land of Israel really needs the rain. And in the same way, our hearts really need the rain. And that's what I wanted to encourage you about this morning. You know, as we go on with the Lord, we may feel that our hearts are becoming more alive. And that's a good sign because that's a sign that we've allowed the spirit of the living God to go in to reach his hand deep inside where no one else can get to and to breathe life into those areas of our hearts that have been dry, parched, shut down from ourselves and from other people. Those are areas where we've had trauma and where we've shut our hearts down so that no one can go in and touch us there and I think many of us subconsciously as even toddlers and even babies when we were devastated we made a vow that when something like this no one will ever hurt me like that again but you see as we get older those parts of our hearts are fragmented they, it's like there's no life pumping into those parts and as we're feeling more and more alive as the days go on it's because we are slowly letting the spirit of the living God get into those places and blow his breath of life back into us. And I'm, I'm happy to say that I notice that that's happening within me and I hope that that's happening within you today. And I wanted to talk to you today about the rest of God, being in the rest and living in the rest of God. There's a wonderful scripture, I believe it's Psalm, uh, it's either Psalm 116 verse 7 or Psalm, one, uh, Psalm 117 verse 6. And it's very simple and very short. It says, soul, return to your rest. And I believe that the Lord wants us to practice living in his rest, no matter what's going on, and especially when there's a storm going on all around us and as if we're in the eye of the storm, where it's the calmest that we can have that rest to practice being in the rest of God no matter what is happening in our lives and I really want to encourage you because those of you who know me know that I live to encourage God's people and those who have not yet called upon his name because they still are God's people they just haven't said yes to God yet and I'm believing the Lord that we all we all have his name on us marked on us and uh, it says in the scripture that he's called us by name we are his and he says I've called you by name you are mine that's what the God of Israel says to us and so it's a beautiful day here in the north of Israel at the Mediterranean it's gonna be a hot one today and I just want to encourage you to rest in God today no matter what you have before you your joy and your peace mean everything and we really have to guard that there's a scripture in the Proverbs that says, a joyful heart is good medicine, uh, but a broken spirit dries up the bones. Joy is so critically important. And I also love Psalm 100, enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. So when we have an attitude of thanksgiving, we will have that joy. And also, if we're looking for God, we won't miss him. We will see him in everything and we really need to keep a heart full of gratitude and thanksgiving is the key to joy in our lord bless you from the north of israel may every blessing that god has with your name on it be yours and running over in yeshua's name god bless